Good morning everybody, it's Thursday, we're ha over halfway through the week now and we're going to now develop our shape poem. So yesterday we started to pull our sentences together, today we're going to write our shape poem and think about why it's a shape poem to make it really look like one as well. So first thing I'd like you to do is if you've got a purple pen like we'd use at school or if you've got a different colour pen or pencil and um, we're going to have a look at first of all editing and up leveling. So the first thing I'd like you to do is using a ruler and a pencil I'd like you to go and underline using the, create, um, the checklist to make sure that you've got everything. So I want to first of all um, work my way down so I've got some powerful verbs so I want to go and see have I used some pow powerful verbs well yes I've used stomping instead of walking I've used gobbling instead of eating then have a look and go and underline all of your adjectives so again so find your adjectives so you're describing words to describe your objects your, your nouns so I'm just going to go through their large hefty hooves delicious food, delicious lunch, greedy cows. Then I want to have a look at alliteration. Remembering obviously that alliteration is where you've got um, words that all start with the same letter or sound. So here I've got cozy cows carefully crawl into their beds. I then want to have a look for onomatopoeia. Remembering that onomatopoeia is where um, we use words which make sound so usually in capital letters followed by um, an exclamation mark so crunch and munch I then want to see if I've got a simile remember this is where we compare so that using words like like or as so a sleeping like a log so you might be able to get that in there then I've got precise nouns well have I actually spoken about something precise well yes I have because I've actually got I'm talking about the cows I'm talking about um, how they move it's every, everything is about that and then finally I've got rhyming words have I got some rhyming words yes I have so I can go and underline I've got field peeled I've got twos and hooves I've got crunch and I've got lunch and finally heads and beds so I first of all I'll let you to do that now obviously you're not going to be able to say that we've done the layout because we haven't done that yet that is today's task so first of all, I'd like you to go through and underline everywhere where you have put these features in. Now, if you haven't put these features in, now is the chance for you to do that. So if you haven't, please include that in. Also, if you are reading it through and you think, oh, actually, I can use a more powerful verb. So if you've said about them eating, you could things like gobbling um, and, and think about the adverbs that you might want to add in. You might add some more adjectives in as well. So please go and edit your work and up level it. And then once you have done that, we can have a look at our next step. So looking at our waggle here, we can see that we have now actually started to put the, the features in into our waggle. And the final checklist point is looking at the layout. Now, when we look at the layout of the shape, that means how it's set up. So can you see the shape of a grasshopper? Well, yes, because the writing is around it. Now, we don't always have to write the writing around it. So in order to complete your shape poem, the first thing you need to do is look at the animal that you have wrote your poem on. So for me, I have wrote my poem about a cow, so I want to find, draw a shape of a cow. Now in order to do this, you can either hand draw this, or um, if you'd like to be a bit more specific, you can research how to draw the shape. So if you just type on into Google and just put simple outline of a cow or simple outline of whatever animal you are doing and go on to images, you'll be able to see some pictures of a cow where you can then have a go at copying this image. And I'd have a practice of drawing this shape first. So you'll need a pencil and a rubber just in case you do it wrong. So just do it as simple as possible. Don't overcomplicate it at this point um, because um, we want to be able to have a go at writing in it. Now, what I'd also suggest doing is doing it nice and large because in a minute you're going to have a go at writing inside it. So make sure that once you're happy with your shape, you can make it into a bigger version, probably about the size of an A4 sheet. I'd probably do it nice and big like this um, so that you've got it. Now you can either decide whether you're going to write your poem on the inside of the shape or around the outside of the shape. What I would suggest is writing on the inside just because it is easier and um, because you don't know exactly how many um, words it's going to take to go around your object. So I would suggest if you're doing it by hand 
um, especially to write it um, in the inside of the shape. Now, in order to do this, I would suggest, first of all, drawing the outline of your shape on a large piece of A4, on a piece of A4 and really spreading it out. Then, um, if you do it on lines paper, your lines will already be there. If not, you may choose to draw some lines on, um, but you don't have to draw lines on if you're confident with writing in a straight line as well. So here is an example of my shape. I've drawn my cow, I've drawn the lines in the middle so that I'm now ready to start writing my poem. Now, once I am confident that I've really um, finished all my editing and I've finished my poem, I can now start to write the, the, cow, uh, the poem about the cow inside the cow. So again, I can either um, handwrite it if you want to. You could, some of you might want to do it hand by hand and then some of you might want to do it like this one where it's on the computer. It's completely up to you. I would suggest handwriting it to start with um, so that you can enjoy drawing the cow as well and maybe drawing the lines on. If you drew the lines on in pencil and you wrote in pen, you would actually be able to rub out the pencil lines so that it would, wouldn't need any lines in the centre. Okay, so once you've had a go at doing this, your final poem should look something like this. Now, tomorrow's lesson we are going to be looking at publishing it and adding colour to it. Obviously, if you wish, you can do that today and add some colour to your cow. Um, but obviously, we will be looking at doing that in tomorrow's lesson um, as well. So I really look forward to seeing lots of your work on Seesaw um, and seeing all your poems as well.